Drug Cartel, a criminal organization specializing in the production and distribution of illegal narcotics. In the 1980s, El Padrino founded the Guadalajara Cartel. This was the first Mexican group to work with Colombian criminals to traffic cocaine into the United States. When he was captured and imprisoned, he split his empire into five smaller cartels to make it harder to destroy. Understanding the structure of a drug cartel is the first step in bringing it down. In the traditional pyramid structure used in old Colombian cartels, drugs flowed down into the system and money flowed back up the ranks. With this rigid organization, a technique called the Kingpin Strategy was highly effective. The Kingpin Strategy destroys criminal groups by taking out a few key targets high up in the chain of command. Without a leader, the organization falls apart. But in Mexico, where cartels are organized less rigidly, this strategy hasn't been working. Some say it even intensifies the violence because taking out a leader creates a void which the lower ranks compete to fill. In Mexico, cartel structure is better imagined as a series of rings than as a pyramid. Command is a small group of leaders who made decisions about alliances and assassinations. Lieutenants delegate the orders of the command, overseeing intelligence, finances, and training. Hitmen do the dirty work, carrying out executions, kidnappings, torture sessions, and territorial violence. At the fringes, four different types of groups operate. Hawks are paid to keep watch over borders and distribution centers. They make a call if something unusual happens, like an increase in border inspections. Leopards are prostitutes who act as spies, gathering intelligence from their clients about the cartel's enemies. Acquisitions get arms and ammunition to the cartels, primarily from the United States. Communications intercept phone calls, tail suspects, and sometimes are involved with the bloodier crimes. The drug trade in Mexico employs half a million people. The cartels pay people from all kinds of backgrounds, including Americans, to smuggle drugs across the border. The most common way for drugs to enter the U.S. is in the back of a truck. Only 20% of trucks crossing the border into the United States are inspected. An estimated 95% of the cocaine entering the U.S. passes through Mexico. Mexico also supplies 80% of our meth and up to two-thirds of our marijuana. At the busiest border crossing in Texas, a truck enters the country every 15 seconds. Despite appearances, drug cartels are not impenetrable. Instead of the kingpin strategy, which creates violence, the International Drug Policy Consortium advocates targeting the middle layer, which carries out much of the violence. In addition, with education and proper treatment, we can decrease America's dependence on these addictive substances.